five sides of the equation really equals mc squared. It's a phenomenal amount of energy. And as you decrease it and you take any of this energy out, you're decreasing this mass, but you're doing it on a 100% conversion process. A nuclear reactor that resulted from an accidental discovery of two chemists in Germany is highly inefficient. It's less than 1% efficient, and it resulted from an accidental discovery. This was not a result of an accidental discovery. It's carried me over two decades of my life, and this energy is literally kinetic energy. Then you could tap into it and utilize it so long as it existed. And the reason I thought that was that it showed that if you took a permanent magnet and you took a conductor, and if you moved a magnet relative to a conductor, the directions of the current would, would reverse relative to the motion of the magnet or the coil. And as you can see, in this instance, I put one pole of this magnet to this conductor. If I move left, you can see the needle went left. If I move it right, you can see it went right. Now I turn the magnet over. Now when I move it left, the needle went right. I'm going to move it left again. The needle goes right. Now, now if I move it to the right, the needle goes left. I'll move it to the right again. You can see it goes left. Even if you move it slow, it said the current went basically at the speed of light. And I was curious how you could do that. It told me something was already moving at the speed of light, and the conductor was simply deflecting it, because you can turn this conductor over, and it won't change the direction of the current. Only this magnet could show everything was relative to something in this magnetic field. And it also said if you move this magnet parallel to the lines of force, even if you moved it vigorously, it produced hardly no current. As soon as you move it at right angles, look at the difference. It was obvious to me there was some type of mechanical characteristic in this system. It took me over three years to figure it out because I wasn't familiar with a gyroscope. Three years later, I figured it out and found that the known laws of a gyroscope match exactly this observed result. A shadow of a doubt, it'll work. We built three smaller machines, and each time, progressively, they got more powerful. When they see this automobile running, their comment is, I want one of those devices. And as soon as they start saying that, the manufacturers want to start building it and selling it to them. So the technology is going to stop. Well, would you welcome, please, Joseph Newman. <laughs> nice to meet you. I appreciate you having me. Do you think your machine, if it can be commercially made available, can, for example, a person would buy a three or four hundred pound unit and all of a sudden would be able to produce all of the energy they need for their home? Is that certainly within the realm of possibility? Exactly. I have absolutely no doubt about it. That uh, such a device hooked to a home, a person will never have to pay for energy again. The device will be made uh, smaller to put in an automobile, plane, spacecraft, you name it. This device... Using the atoms from the, from the magnetic field. And, and what you're doing is that you're converting mass into energy on a hundred percent conversion process. That's one of the first prototypes, and it, uh, that's a 700-pound magnetic rotor, and it's got uh, about 8,000 pounds of wire around it. Now, it's gone down. That unit there weighs 135 pounds, and I showed that at the Hilton in uh, New Orleans. There was approximately uh, 2,500 people attended, 1,000 people outside, and another 1,200, 1,500 standard to get in. And uh, it would demonstrate something like 25 times more out than externally inputted into the system. You get more wattage out of that than... Than what you'd, what you'd, put, than what you'd mm -hmm. put in. In fact, a railback battery company is working with me now trying to design a battery to hold up to this recharging effect of this system. Because not only will it run the device, it'll put more energy back into the battery pack than came out of it. So you can... That's, that's, that's fascinating. Uh, <laughs>